everyone and welcome back to my channel Nerdy Girl Blue. You guys know I want to start a crochet series on my channel because I tend to crochet a lot. It is one of my very secret hobbies that I do. Well it's not very secret but it's one of the things I do. So yeah we are gonna do today a granny square. Now a granny square can be so many great things. It can be a cardigan made into a cardigan it can be made into a blanket it can be made into a patchwork quilt cushions like a granny square is the easiest place to start when crocheting i mean that's how i started making baby blankets for my kids so i've got two nice colors here both in double knit wool we have a lemon and a kind of mini green it's really nice wool i always use double crochet double crochet I always use double knit wool, but I mean, the chunkier the wool, the higher up in the hook you go. So I'm using a size five millimeter hook. We have our darning needle for stitching in the ends. We also have a pair of thread cutters. Mine are rather broken now. I need a new pair, they are blunt, but hey, you work with what you've got. Obviously you can use scissors, it's up to you guys what you use. Now here we go, I did start a stitch for beginners, stitches for beginners and in it it shows you how to do the magic ring. I will leave the link up there, you'll see a card go past. If you don't know how to do any of these, please do refer to that. So we are going to make a magic ring, I'm going to go around and around. Okay, if you haven't practiced this, please practice it. Then we're gonna go under, pull up, and we are gonna just slip stitch. So basically chain. So we're gonna pull it through like that. That makes a magic ring, okay? So this magic ring can be pulled closed. So what we're gonna do is chain one and two okay we already made a chain so that is the second chain we're then gonna yarn over so yarn over is wrapping the yarn around your hook that is a yarn over or you can grab it by grabbing it with the hook end and twisting it okay grabbing it and twisting it but i tend to just wrap my hook around okay i also when it comes to holding the yarn, I put it under, over my finger and I hold it with my little finger. Okay, you do what's comfortable for you, how you hold it. So, we're gonna hold our ring. What I normally do is put my fingers in it. We yarn over, go into the magic circle and we grab the yarn, like so. So it pulls up three, loops on your hook we then yarn over and pull through two we then yarn over and pull the final two off that is one double crochet now in this pattern or with a um magic with a magic ring with a granny square should i say this your chain two always counts as your first double crochet so that's one two double crochets so we are then gonna do it again yarn over in the circle pull up three on your hook we are then yarning over pulling through two yarning over and pulling through two that makes three double crochets. So now what we are going to do is chain three. One, two, three. Did you guys see that? I'll show you again. So a chain is just grabbing the yarn, pulling it through the loop on the hook. That is a chain. So that's one chain two chains, three chains. Then we are going to do another three double crochets. So we, 
Sorry about that, my camera died on me. How rude. So we've chained three and now we are going to do three double crochets into the magic ring. So we'll wrap around. One, two, and three. Let's just pull it on out. Then you are going to do another chain three. One, two, three. As you can see, that's made a corner. So this is going to be the corner of our little square. So again, we're going to do three. One, two, and three. That will have made another corner. See? Little corner there. So then we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. I'm just going to pull my loop closed a little bit. My magic ring, should I say? We're going to pull it closed a little bit and then we're going to do three double crochets again one two and three so as you can see we have three corners now for the last corner we're going to pull this tight well not very tight but you know we're going to pull it closed we're then going to chain three one two three and then into the top of the chain two that we first did so chain one chain two there will be a gap you go under two of the strings like so so it's like a little pocket we yarn over pull through so we have two loops and pull the first loop over the back loop that is a slip stitch so now you'll see once we pull this tight that we have four corners one two three and four so what we're then going to do is go into each of the stitches so here in the top of these double crochets the holes okay those are the stitches so we're going to go slip stitch and we are then going to slip stitch into the next one so into this one slip stitch like so then we're going to put our hook into this big gap pull the yarn through and slip stitch into there Okay, that starts us off at the corner again. So then we're going to chain one, two. We're going to yarn over for a double crochet. Go in to the gap. Pull up so you have three loops. Pull two off. And pull two off. Okay. So you guys probably know where you're at by now with the double crochets. So um, if not, just keep practicing the beginning bit and you can always obviously start and stop the video. That's the beauty of videos. So we're going to do another double crochet. Now instead of chain three, now's where we chain two. So we're going to chain two. And do another three in the same part one two and three i really need a yarn ball to stop to stop my balls of yarn coming over here okay then we're not going to do anything what we're going to do is yarn over see how that's closed a corner so we're going to yarn over go into the next gap pull up three, pull up two, pull up two, that's our first double crochet. So we're going to do that another twice, so that's one, 
two, which makes two double crochets. We then chain two. At every corner, you want to do three, chain two, three. It's in every single corner. Okay, one, two, and three. Now you'll see that it started expanding because we have another hole. Okay, so we've got the two corners and the middle gap. So we've done three, chain two, three. We are then gonna do three in the next one, chain two, three. So that's one, two, three. Okay. We're then gonna chain two, one, two. You only do chain three between on the very first of starting it off. So then that's one. Two and three. Okay, can you guys guess what you're gonna do next? Yep, you guessed it. Go into the next corner. So yarn over and do a normal double crochet. That's one, two, and three. Then we are gonna chain two, one, two. And then another three. One, two, and three. All right, when we get here, we are just gonna slip stitch into that top of chain two. So we're gonna slip stitch. So you pull through, pull, it to the back one okay and then we're going to slip we're going to actually take this yarn off so to fasten off what we're going to do is yarn over just keep that loop on yarn over do it like you're going to do a chain pull take our snips snip behind and it tight that is the start of your double crochet and uh, of your that is the start of your granny square so as you can see you should have four corners and one stitch in between each corner all right so now we're going to change colors there's many many ways of doing this many ways you're going to come across many ways that you're going to find easier for yourself but for granny squares, I'm just going to do sleeve this gorgeous mint. I love this colour. Now what I tend to do, just for a granny, well, for a granny square and say if I'm changing colours for, it's normally just granny squares. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in one of the corners. Okay. So I'm going to put my hook in my corner of choice and pull that yarn all the way through so it just kind of you know just kind of sits there we are then gonna tie a double knot so one and two we're then gonna insert our hook grab our yarn and do a chain of two one two we're going to pull this across and then we're going to do two double crochets because remember the chain two acts as one double crochet so we're going to chain two one two we're going to double crochet three times so that's one two and three now you guys if you guys are still struggling to keep up you can slow the video down on youtube i think in settings then we are going to chain one this is where you always chain one to get the other stitches so what we're going to do is chain one 
and do three double crochet just three in the middle two and three we then going to chain one to get to the next stitch now the next stitch is a corner next gap should I say is a corner so we are going to do our three double crochets so that's one two three chain two one two and three double crochet one two three okay because it's a corner we want it to look like a corner as you can see we've got our corner and we'll now have two don't worry about these dingle dangles okay these dingle dangles will all get seen to at the end of the video so we've got our corners and now two in the middle so to get to the middle stitch we are then going to chain one and three double crochets one two three now don't forget guys you can always add me join my discord where there's a lot of people in there i mean if you have questions to ask about the video or anything like that i will try and get my comments but you're best off joining the community on discord i've got a crochet section there and we we can chat about things we can talk about what problems you're having you can show me pictures of your creations that you've copied and things that obviously you've learned from me or anything like that or any tips you want to give other crocheters there's also a gamer section and a harry potter section on there so we're kind of a wide variety now did we chain we did not so now we chain one to get to the corner and then in the corner don't forget we have to do three chain two and three and the corners are always fun because if you're doing a blanket or something and you are doing like do three chain one do three chain one do three chain one it can get very repetitive so i always love it when i get to the corners see chain two the corners are always a blessing when you're doing the same stuff two and three like so then we're going to chain one to get the next stitch and you do three double crochets in this gap so then we're going to chain one and move on to the corner don't forget in the corner we're going to do three double crochets chain two and three double crochets that's one, two, three, chain one and two, and three double crochets. One, two, three. So we're going to chain one. And go to the middle and do three oops they even had to make mistakes and i've been doing it a lot of year so okay double crochet in the middle two double crochet three double crochet and don't forget it is here that we are going to join with a slip stitch we are then going to slip stitch into the next one and slip stitch into the next gap oh, make sure that you go through two strands because going through two going through one you'll get this see you'll get this look and you don't want that that makes everything baggy so what you want to do is go through the two 
and a slip stitch. You then want to slip stitch into there and one, two. And then we'll start all over again. Two double crochet. And there you have a granny square. Now you could keep going with this. You could do many colours. You could do one colour. You could do a bloody rainbow of colours. So let's get to our dingle dangles. So as you can see, that it looks very messy back here. That is normal. Where are you? So what we're gonna do is to take a large eyed Dawn needle and you're going to thread the yarn into here and then so this loop doesn't come undone what I like to do is go in between the stitches pull it tight go back through push that needle in that loop there and pull then obviously we don't want that to come undone or look messy or anything so what I do is go between the stitches again with the same colour and then back through just to secure it we are then going to pull it tight and use our snippies like I said, these are blunt. There you go. Hidden. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I really, really hope that you guys will leave a like on the video. Maybe subscribe. And maybe join my Discord, you know. If this video has helped you out and you want to join the community, please do. Please do. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know how your granny squares go. And let me know what you plan on making with them. I will upload a new video soon. Um, maybe we'll do the star based granny square. And then maybe we'll move on to a hat. So I love you guys and thank you for watching. You guys are amazing. As always, thank you for the support. And I will see you guys later, taters. Toodaloo.